Welcome to another episode of The Epic Family Road Trip. In this week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip, we continue southwest through beautiful Colorado on the Backcountry Discovery Route. This backcountry route will take us through public land, national forests, and ranch land. Most of this land is open range, and as we travel, we keep an eye out for livestock near or on the roads. We also stay alert for wildlife as we travel through these remote wilderness areas. elevation as we near the mountains, and the vibrant golden yellow of the aspen trees is in full swing as autumn approaches. After a few hours of driving, we decide to look for a camp for the night and find a beautiful spot amongst the trees just off the trail. Well, we just got into camp. It's been an awesome day of riding. We've been going up and down a lot of different passes. You can really tell we're starting to get into the Rockies and the real mountains here. Right now we're about three quarters of the way up uh, Hagerman Pass and just stopped on the side of the road at a good looking camp and it turned out to be perfect. So it's pretty awesome. How are you liking the riding? <clears throat> awesome. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it's fun. <laughs> Dan, I was talking about the riding, like the oh. trail. Oh. Yeah, the trail was great because uh, there's a lot of dirt on it, so you can really drive. <laughs> You're so nice. base layers in here before my cooking stuff. Sounds like another bike. Probably that 1290. Let's get the bowls. I was talking at the gas station. Name? I'm Grant. Grant? I, yeah, so, so you, I, I was up at, I work in Prudhoe Bay. Okay. <laughs> and I uh, I seen them getting fuel when you guys were up there with XO. Yep. Yeah. So, and then I'm like, oh, where are you guys going? You guys said you're going to get on your bikes. And I said, we're doing the Colorado BDR. So, it's crazy. <laughs> I come so smoking awesome. down and I'm like, oh, 
because I'm on the headset with my buddy. He goes, oh, there's some really cool Jeeps on your left. And I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> so, Unbelievable. Awesome. Great That's to see wild. you guys. I Did love you your guys' content. Thank you. Thank you. So it's uh, really good. Did you fly in from Prudhoe Bay, like from Alaska? Uh, I live in Idaho. Oh, okay. So we, uh, uh, four of us, drove down to um, Cortez, and then we started in the Four Corners and nice. going to Wyoming. You're going right nice. up? So we yeah. started uh, the opposite way. Okay. We we came down from Montana, drove through Wyoming, and then hit the BDR. So perfect. How's it? What's ahead? Lots of rocks. Yeah, yeah. Over um, what is that? Hagerman. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's gnarly. Oh. It's a lot of rocks. It's slow going. I mean, you won't have trouble. These guys will be working. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be careful. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's it's and it's gnarly. Okay. Yeah, a lot of rocks. So, all right. Next time we'll see you in Baja or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're trying to decide which one we're going to do next. That's actually that insane. Is... <laughs> that uh, we we met up again. Because we were in Prudhoe Bay, like you said, we were getting fuel as we drove in before we went out to the Arctic Ocean. And, uh, we just started talking to this guy. This guy pulled up to get fuel as well, and he's like, "Oh, I follow you guys on Epic and also Adventure Guys and stuff." So we talked for a while about trails, and he did mention the Colorado BDR, and uh, I I kind of forgot that he said like they would be going on that at some point this this year as well, and it just so happens that we're here at the exact same time on Hagerman Pass. It's pretty crazy. Not something like that. As far as you can go in Alaska, we met this guy. He's the one that recommended this trail and then we just met up with him. That's that's pretty cool. And on the most remote trail yeah. in Colorado and they're the same just guy happens doing. like as we're kind of I know, I, I thought he just like made a mistake here or something, but he or almost hit something, but he just like <laughs> stopped so fast. That's awesome. Now we are all settled into camp, the sun is beginning to set, and mom is starting a delicious meal for dinner. Tonight, mom is making enchiladas in the Dutch oven. This meal is one of our favorites, and it's a great one after a long day on the road, as it's pretty simple to make and very delicious.
As we get on the trail this morning, we are interested to see what lies ahead after being warned last evening of the difficult and rocky trails to come. So far, we are completely blown away by our surroundings as we head deeper into the mountains. So just around the corner from where we are and we're into the, these really rocky high cliffs, shelf roads. You gotta hang onto the steering wheel and pay attention, keep your eyes on the road and uh, just drive slow and safe. But man, the scenery is mind-boggling, just gorgeous. We continue climbing higher and higher up to the top of Hagerman Pass. The trail is definitely getting more rocky and technical, especially for the boys on their bikes. Last I checked, we're at 11,200 feet, and uh, we're basically at the top of a mountain here and uh, doing these awesome roads, um, trails, I guess, rocky, beautiful trails. Um, I'm just pulled over waiting for the boys. We just went up a really steep spot, and the boys were just catching their breath at the bottom because they are really working hard on this, this uh, hill. So the Jeeps are just taking a break, and uh, hopefully the boys will be coming up this way very soon without putting their bikes down because uh, man that was steep and rocky they did it they made it up that big steep hill safely and uh, i'm happy i don't know if this is the crest of the pass or not but in any case we got a big downhill coming ahead and here comes vandy and we're all back together second ride mode still so you got no traction control which is good for a lot of these situations. Thanks. 
But then if I, I wrap it, like what I did to get over a rock that I just ran into by accident, then it loses all rear wheel spin. So that was the only thing this time that I made a mistake on so far. But that was fun. The water's so nice. I love yeah. crossing water. Splash yeah, I just love it and get all cool. I didn't have too, too much room to start into it. And I'm not very good at those like quick starts. So I stalled in the center and then made the mistake of trying to keep going. Should have just taken a second and then and then went back at it, but. The waterproof boots work? Waterproof boots work. Nice. My socks are a little bit wet, but they dry out really quick because they're all vented. We'll take a break and we'll carry on. They can move a lot quicker than us most of the time on this kind of trail for sure. Hagerman Pass is on the continental divide of the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean at 11,925 feet above sea level. Oh yeah, we haven't done anything. It's a mohawk. It's an actual mohawk. The views from up here are simply stunning and the weather could not be more perfect this high in the mountains of Colorado. Now we head down the mountain to try and find a camp for the night. This route takes us through the small town of Leadville, 
which is a welcome fuel stop before heading back off-road where we will look for a place to set up camp. Stay tuned for next week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip as we head higher and higher into the rugged mountain trails of Colorado. In the meantime, we'll see you down the road.